Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to secure copy files in Linux using the scopy command. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually scopy allows you to copy files between hosts. It uses actually the SSH protocol for data transfer. Okay. And also it provides the same authentication method used by SSH. So you can use a password authentication or public key authentications. Okay. So here I will be using a free service called Coach Drop, which allows you to use SCOPY but also AirSync commands in order to upload and download your files to this cloud service here. And also it allows you actually to link your account with any famous services, cloud services like Dropbox, Google Drive and Amazon Web Services. So it's pretty simple, you have to create an account, then you can upload your files using the escape command, okay? So let's see some examples here in order to show you how it works. So let's say that we want to transfer, for example, some files here, so here. I have some files and I want to actually copy them securely using SSH to a remote host. So my remote host will be this cloud service called CoachDrop. Okay, so I have already created an account so I can use my credentials in order to transfer files. So let's begin with simple example. So I will go to my desktop here, so CD desktop. Okay, so now I'm on my desktop. So let's, for example, transfer this file here to my cloud service. So I'll use escape command. Okay. Then the name of my file, which is DTC client. Here we go. Then we use your credentials in order to transfer files. So here I'll be transferring my files to coach drop. To a directory called CentOS. Okay, so the syntax actually is pretty simple. It's copy the source path, then the destination path. So it's pretty easy. You have to just to hit enter, and the transfer will begin. So of course you have to provide your credentials for the cloud service. Here we go. And now here you see that the data has been transferred okay so it's pretty easy pretty straightforward and uses actually the SSH protocol so your data are encrypted so here I have just transferred one file I can transfer whatever files multiple files if I want so let's say for example that they want to transfer the SSH config for example here I can also add another file for example I will add this file here vimrc also vimrc then I have to provide credentials aminos ninatos at scopy coach drop that io and always I'll be transferring to the same folder on my cloud okay so I will hit enter so the credentials and you see here that your two files have been transferred to your cloud service you can do the reverse things so for example let me delete this file here so I have a file on my cloud called csae.pdf and I want to download it from my cloud service so I can just do the same but always begin with source so the source this time is my cloud service so I'll provide my credentials and here we go the directory and the name of my file which is .pdf file and finally at the end I'll provide the destination 
so this time I will be downloading to my desktop so I have to provide the path to my desktop here so let's see if it will download the file so I will provide my credentials here here we go and now you can see the progression of my files that has been downloaded to my desktop here and here of course you see the download speed and the percentage of downloading data and here we go at the end the PDF file has been downloaded to my desktop okay so as you can see here on my desktop I have the PDF file that has been downloaded okay so by default SKP uses the three days cipher in order to encrypt data but you can use whatever cipher that you want so for example let me just uh, upload another file let's make it the ts file also this file here on my desktop called tt client.config but this time i will not be using the default cipher which is three days but i will use for example with the option minus c for cipher i will use the blowfish for example cipher here we go so here I have provided the option minus C for blowfish in order to use the algorithm blowfish in order to encrypt your data so I have to enter here so I will provide my credentials as always and the file will be transferred using this cipher here and here we go as you can see I have successfully uploaded my file Another option that you can use with the capital C this time. So if you want to compress your data, you can use the minus capital C and to provide your files. So here I have just a, not a very big file. So let's, for example, upload this uh, PDF file. okay so i will use my credentials here to the cloud service skp.coachdrop.io and always i'll be uploading to the santos directory here okay and this time i used option minus capital C for compression so if you have a poor uh, bandwidth so you can uh, use this option in order to increase the speed of uploading your data okay okay and the one last option that you can use is actually if you have some problems uploading or downloading your data from the server you can use option minus v okay so if i use the option minus v which stands for verbose mode you can actually debug what's going on under the hood and see where the problem resides okay so i'll show you how you can use this option here With, uh, with uploading a simple file to the cloud service so as you can see here it gives you a lot of information about what's going on when you want to upload a file to the cloud service okay so you can see what's the problem when you have some issues uploading and downloading data So here for example I have some problems because I have provided here I have problem it states no such file or directory DDS client yes because actually I didn't give the right name I my, my file is actually called ddsclients.conf so I will do the same but this time I will just add conf 
and here we go now the data will be transferred okay I provide my credentials and now everything is okay okay so you can always use this option here minus V in order to debug the informations between the two servers so of course here I used the cloud service called coach drop but you can use whatever server running open SSH service all you have to have is actually some account on that server so you can upload the data to this uh, Linux server okay so that was just a brief introduction to how you can use the scopy command in Linux as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye